Welcome to another video for N3 Industrial Electronics. And in this video, we'll be looking at question five from a previous national exam paper. Study the circuit in the figure below of a transistor used as a switch. Now in question 5.1, what is required to cause the base current to flow so that the transistor is switched on? Exposure of photodiode to light. In question 5.2, briefly describe how the photodiode will cause the transistor to activate the relay in the circuit so that the load is activated. As soon as the photodiode is exposed to light, current flows through to the base of the transistor and causes the collector current to flow. This collector current produces a magnetic field around the coil and activates the contacts, which then activates the load. In question 5.3, state the characteristics of a common emitter circuit. The output waveform is 180 degrees out of phase with the input waveform. We have high current gain and high voltage gain. In question 5.4, draw a neat labeled characteristic curve of a N channel J FET. And here we have the characteristic curve. The characteristic curve of a J FET transistor is the curve which shows the graph of the drain current ID versus the gate source voltage VG. The ratio of the change in drain current to the change in gate source voltage is the transductance GM. This is what the characteristic curve serves to show. Right, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button and all the best for your upcoming exam. Thank you.